Hello and welcome along to the next instalment of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. Now this video is just going to be showing how I'm going to be restoring some faded rubber and bumper work on a Daihatsu Hijet that I've just had in for a respray. Now it's come out with a respray, it needs all the bumpers smartening up just to give it a fresh look because the paint itself is looking really nice, really sparkly and just the grade off old plastics and rubbers, they're just starting to show their age. <coughs> So I'm just going to be showing a quick, easy method just to get them looking nice and black again as you can see there compared to the really old grey there and that's just using bog standard basic old shoe polish cherry blossom. It takes a couple of applications, probably two or three layers especially if they've started to fade as grey as this. These will have been black originally but as you can see 15 years in the sun and it's just slowly taking its toll on the plastics. You can use a heat gun method but that makes the plastic brittle whereas the polish itself actually nourishes the plastic so as I said this stuff itself that's a pound a bottle if that you can get it even cheaper in some shops and it's just a case of as I say just smothering it on letting it dry put another layer on let it dry to the point where once it's dry and it looks black then that's good enough to go if it dries and it still looks a little bit grey just smother another layer on I say by the time I've done both front back and front bumper, back bumper and the wing mirrors and a few bits and bobs, I'll probably only use a couple of bottles, so I'll be talking probably less than five pounds for a full restoration of all the plastics, all the rubbers on the van. I'll just show you the uh, plastics that I'm going to be doing as well. This is the Hijet, it's just back from paint now. It's got metal sparkling all over the place, but because the van's in the shade, the sparkle doesn't show until the sun hits it. But as you can see, the actual old bumpers themselves are really faded. So again, these are just going to get a really liberal smothering of the cherry blossom all the way around it. This will probably take maybe four or five applications to get it looking really nice, really dark again. But as I say, for the price of the cherry blossom itself, a pound a bottle or less, and you should be able to get a good few applications out of one bottle for a bumper this size. I'm going to be doing the front bumper as well, but that's not quite as faded. That's already black pretty much, so that will only take one or two coats. So I'm going to crack on and do the rest of the wing mirrors. That's, it. that's still drying up that one, so that's probably going to need one more coat. But you can see the difference there, night and day between the two. So I'm going to let this one dry up, start smothering this one get these refitted on and crack on with the bumpers. Now if you're just doing small little areas like wing mirrors, uh, small little bits of trim, it's fine just to use the cherry blossom in the bottle, just use the foam applicator. But if you're going to be using like uh, bigger areas like the bumpers and things like that, it's best just to cut this bottle open with care because if you just slice into it the polish will fly all over the place and smother your hands. We'll pour this into just a little container and then just use a washing foam pad, something like that, something that's bigger, bigger surface area. And it just means you're then just not having to cover an entire bumper with a tiny little foam pad that big. So it's good for small little areas, bigger areas, cut the bottle open, use a bigger foam pad. So this is the re-bumper before any application. I've just opened the tub up and just poured it all out with a little foam applicator just so it's a larger area coverage per swipe rather than using a tiny little foam ball that's on the end of the uh, tub. So as I say, I'll get this all applicated around the uh, bumper and hopefully it should look nice, shiny and black by the time it's finished. Now this will probably need a good couple of coats, probably maybe up to five quarts with drying in between just to make sure that it's getting it as restored as possible as you can see it's well faded at the moment so hopefully it should come out looking a hell of a lot better than what it is So you can see after one generous coating it's already made a hell of a difference to the bumper. It's gone from really looking all grey nice to a nice shiny black again. Just missed it a tiny little bit there so just cover that in. Obviously when it dries up 
it'll probably go slightly grey but nowhere near as back, uh, bad as it was and as I say that's when the second coat will need applying but just that one first coat straight away has brought it back looking really really nice almost back to a factory black so to speak but as I say it's going to need plenty more applications yet I'm just going to leave this to fully dry up I'm going to move around and do the front bumper and alternate between the two so while one's drying I'll be applying on the other so while this one's drying up let's go around and have a look at the front bumper so as you can see on the front bumper itself it's nowhere near as faded or uh, like brittle looking as the other one was it's still got an okay darkness to it but obviously when the polish goes on just as an example it's going to be making it look a really deeper darker black getting it more back to a factory type black this one shouldn't need as many applications as the rear I'm hoping two maybe three whereas I think the rear one's probably going to need three to five applications so we'll get cracked on get this one polished up and see what it looks like when it's all done So there's a good liberal application on the front bumper as well and again that's just making it look nice and black, nice and shiny. Again it will dry a little bit grey so it's going to need another application. So while this one's drying we'll move back to the back, uh, back bumper and give that one another nice big thick application and hopefully that will start to get rid of the grey on the back. So the back bumper is pretty much dried up now and you can see the really really light grey has fully disappeared off the bumper it started to turn a darker colour so as I say hopefully one maybe two more applications and that should have the bumper looking really really nice so that's application number two done to the rear bumper so now while that one dries back to the front so I've been back and forth, back and forth on the front and back bumpers pretty much just to use up the rest of the tub and the polish that was in it. As I say when one was drying I was applying it on the other. The bumpers must have had five or six coats, maybe even seven. As I say I was just darting back and forth until the tub just ran out. And now it's all dried up as you can see it looks absolutely, well it's just transformed it compared to what it looked like before I started applying any of it. As I say all of the dull brittle looking sort of grey faded plastic has gone it's now fully refreshed back up to a nice shiny black I'll just take you around the front as well and show you the front one and again on the front bumper this one wasn't as faded as the last one but again it's still refreshed it all the way around it makes it look nice nice and shiny should protect the actual bumper as well because it does have wax within the polish as well so any rain should just run straight off it won't wash the polish off the bumper so that's refresh those as well along with the wing mirrors i say they were really faded gray as well and they've come back lovely and black as well so there we go that's how i've fully refreshed all of the plastics the rear bumper the front bumper the wing mirrors the little surrounds on the sides as well same on that side, as I say that was a really faded grey it's just come out really really nice and obviously the polish won't take care of any scratches that are in the bumpers all it will do is basically just cover over them so they'll look a lot nicer and neater like areas like that on the corner it won't remove the scratch, you'd have to start sanding those away to, if you wanted the bumper looking brand new again or as good as new but just for a very very quick refresh I think this took a tub and a half to do the wing mirrors and the front and back bumper and I say it's for that pound fifties worth something like that so for the sake of a pound fifties worth of shoe polish that's the front bumper back bumper wing mirrors all the plastics fully refreshed and looking nice and shiny and black again so I hope you found this video useful if you did do give the video a good old thumbs up have a look at my channel there's loads of content on my channel from all the different van conversions I've done that includes different bumper restorations, full conversions, this, that, the other. If you haven't subscribed already, do hit that subscribe button. There's going to be loads more content to come. I've already got one project lined up and I've just went out and bought another one. So 
I'm going to be busy for the foreseeable future and that means plenty of content for the channel. So thumb up the video, have a look at my channel, hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, cheers.